Hi everybody. I made this little spatula here and I made a video last night. I'll go ahead and show you the video. It's going really slow so you can see some of the imperfections, but I forgot to save the project so there's no way I can get the camera back to exactly where it was, so I decided to remake the video. But this morning I'm a little bit more awake and I noticed these stovetop burners that come with this prop, which this is called Modern Kitchen. It's by 3D Everything. I'll give you a quick little tour of the prop in case you've never seen it. It's a pretty cool prop. I'd probably change the cupboards. cupboards. I removed the uh, one of the walls just so I could kind of show you here. And it's also got a little deck out here, which I've used in some other videos. So I, I really like everything I've bought from 3D Everything. But I didn't really these burners are on so let's go ahead and get into this video and I'll show you now if you select the stove top here and go to this now if you click launch this is going to open for me in paint.net if you have Photoshop or another image editor it'll open for you now I already have this saved if not you could save it and then open it up in pixeldatabase.net but first I'll give you 10 second attempt to try to do this using paint.net. There's probably some better ways, but if you go to brightness contrast and you adjust things down, well, it does that, but it also does the gray and the little white areas and everything. So what we're going to do, and there's ways you could mask it and do certain areas, but I'm going to go ahead and go over to my site, which is pixeldatabase.net. So let me select, here's the little image I made. I put a little line through it just so I could verify I had the right burner. I thought I did, but I wanted to make sure before I started doing anything. Okay, now the first thing I want to do, I'm going to make a little mask, which is just going to be, I want to get rid of everything except for the little white, because when I did this video a few, few attempts, I kind of messed up some of the white areas. Not too much, but enough that I thought it'd be look better if I just got a, uh, a, a kind of a mask of just the white areas. So to do that, I have a couple of queries here I saved just a little bit. Here's the first one. So I'm just going to say, hide the pixels where the min-max difference is greater than 55. And I'll explain that briefly. If you look here, the min value of red, green, or blue is going to be 41. So red I mean, excuse me, so the max is 202, so the min-max difference is going to be well over 55, but the white areas or the gray, some of these areas, they're, they're a lot closer. You know, some of this is not perfect, but it's, it, that'll do that. Now, you notice it's kind of, um, some of this little, uh, I guess it's just, some of the red is not in that range, and some of this kind of got messed up, but that's okay. This is just an overlay. We're going to paste over our final image when we're done. And then I'm going to get the other query, and this is just going to get rid of any pixel that's got a total of less than 200. And the total is just the sum of red plus green plus blue. So black is 0, white is 765. So any of this area that's like, that's 189, that all should get set, that should get hidden. Okay, so that's not perfect, but it may hide the color picker, but that's what I wanted here. Just a, and even there, there's a little bit, but that's all fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and down this, and I'm gonna download this file, and I'm gonna call it my mask. Uh, we'll just call it, yeah, stovetop mask or something. Just so it's got a little overlay I can do. So now I'm gonna reset our image. And now we're gonna start I'm going to get rid of some of the red areas in this, but I want to leave the top left burner on. So to do that, I'm going to say the first query is going to be update, set color black, where total, excuse me, we'll go red min difference is less, excuse me, greater than 25. But I don't want to do the red values down here, nor do I want to do, so we're going to do this a little bit at a time, just to make it take longer, but not what I meant to do, but okay. So the first, turn the color picker back on. I'm going to do this bottom left burner first, so I'm going to put my cursor right here, and I'm going to say X between 48, and then get past the burner here, and we'll, that is x of 130. And then next to be the y, and it's on my list. I've, I'm trying to get it to where you just use a rectangle with your mouse, but haven't figured that out yet in this environment I'm using for this pixeldatabase.net site. 
and the y is between 175 and 264. And we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so that again is not perfect, but we're gonna do that total query here in a sec. We'll go ahead and do that now. We'll just say total. Ah, I'm gonna leave my exit one. This is gonna be total less than 200. And we'll even go less than 250. Because we have our little. Oh, I've got to go further on our X. X needs to go out to 148. Okay, so that's fine. Now we're going to move over to this one here. So we're going to say X between 209. And actually, we can do both of these at the same time. So yeah, that's fine. The X, we have our X in the right place. The Y is going to be 17 to 242. Okay, and we'll do that. No pixels. Hang on. That's going to be red men different. Uh, gray, uh, less than 25. Sorry. Still no pixels. Why not? Oh. X, 204, 332. Computers do what you tell it, unfortunately. That is not what we wanted. Red min difference greater than 25. Okay, now to get rid of some of the, the left, the part with this left, we're going to say total. I'll leave all that. Total, and by the way, I'm just hitting Control Z in Chrome to get that text back. That's uh, just built into Chrome. That's not anything to do with my site. And we're going to say total less than 200. No pixels found. Oh, I didn't type in the less than 200. Okay, so that's. That's better. There's a little bit that um, I could fix that if I needed to with paint.net or even with my site if I wanted to run a little query right here. But that's all I'm going to do. So now we have this part working fine. What I want to do is download this. I am going to just call this stovetop one burner. And I'll open that. And I want to go back to my little site here, and I'm going to open this one. This is the mask. I don't think I had it already open. I did already. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to take this mask and just copy it to my clipboard. Control A followed by Control C. I'm going to go over to this one and add a new layer. I'm going to paste into that new layer there. And that just kind of put that... Um, Put that anything that was taken out, you know, that we might have taken out during that first query. So that is our burner. So I'm going to go ahead and save this again. So it's a, as a PNG. Sorry, we flatten it again. Yes. Okay. So now we have our burner. Let me go over to iClone and let me move over here so you can see it a little better. I'll even hide my frying pan for just a second. Okay, and now we'll modify our stovetop. And instead of now, I'm just going to double click, and this time I want to select stovetop one burner. And there, our other three burners are now turned off. So if I come back over here, I'll even put my uh, frying pan back now. Let me. All right. So now, if I'm doing a scene where the oven is off, that is an easy way to uh, make the stovetop burners look. A little more normal not like the you're trying to burn the house down all right well thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions comments or video suggestions have a great day